Greetings, everyone. Only Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, June the 24th. And this is the Lizard Boogeyman Dolly by Mandroid. This is for all platforms. I am on PS5. And uh, this is 4.39 megabytes and four slots on console. It's a dolly. Where do we find it? Under dollies, of course. There it is. $10,000. And we have a number of options. Now, the wheel options are going to be important if you use crop destruction because there are some choices you need to know about. Now, in Continental, we have it, it and, and if you notice there, it says off road, off road, street, mud, off road. Those, uh, those labels are significant because if we go into Michelin, you see it has care. Care means it's narrow and it will not destroy crops. That's the only choice in Michelin. Trilleberg, we have mud, 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 mud. All lots of mud tires. They are all very cool, but in Verdestein, there you go. So you got mud and then you got care. Now they don't look much different actually, but the care tires, mud, care tires will not destroy crops. Now Nokian, we only have street. BKT, we have care. So you see that, then off-road, big, wide, fat tires, and then care. So continent, and then we're back to continental. Now, fender choices, long, short, none, or long. So we're going to go with the uh, short just because we have some color options. Now we have the arm length, standard, or extension. Now that might be very useful. Uh, for um, various things. Now, you notice it's a ball hitch. We're going to... Uh, yes, it's a ball hitch. So we're going to have to uh, try that out uh, with a couple of things too now that I noticed that. So we'll just go with the short arm. Now, fifth wheel locking. We're going to try this out because this is described as... Um, Um, well, it, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. I have to show you. Uh, it, it, it's, we have gentle locking, partial locking, hard locking, or disabled. Then when you do locking disabled, it acts just like a normal dolly without any kind of, um, it's just free wheeling as it were. Now, main color. We have all of them. Ooh, plus, well, all the standard colors. And even the standard colors, well, that one is... Yeah, those are pretty normal. We'll go with pink just for now. Design color is your fender colors. Uh, now, if you pick red, those uh, the fenders are going to create a chrome look to them, actually, even though you don't pick chrome, because if we go into the bright pink that we just did, it gives a chrome pink, which is totally a different color when it's chromed as you can see however we're going to make it oh i don't know gold just because and then we have a rim color which again uh if you pick the standard colors uh this looks so good um or you can go with um with one of the fancy dancy colors See, we have uh, the uh, kind of a, a, a green aqua or a chrome color or a lighter chrome color. Uh, very nice. All very nice. Now, right. Um, so Mandred has a little bit uh, bit of a humor with his description, and I'm going to do while I walk over there. Uh, the, uh, the description is like I'm looking at this, and it's like, this uh, this wording uh, spacing and uh, thing kind of looks familiar. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a whirl. I'm gonna get, because it reminds me of a song, and maybe you can maybe you can um, recognize it. It says, "Who can make a trailer? Attach it with ease." Connect it to a tractor or whatever you please. The boogeyman. Oh, the boogeyman can, the boogeyman can, cause it hitches it with love and it makes a reversing good. <laughs> oh dear, maybe I'm the only one <laughs> who, who, who's seen that there, but it uh, definitely goes uh, to the tune of the Candyman, if anybody knows who that is. Now, 
<laughs> uh, here we have, uh, I have set up basically something with uh, the narrow tires. And uh, I do believe, let's see here, uh, the easiest way to do this, to try out all the different options, is to have a toolkit here. And um, make sure we got, uh, the wheel is a care wheel, short uh, arm extension, locking disabled. Right, so first of all, I want to show you, uh, I have crop destruction on, and we will drive over this crop. And as you can see, no crop has been damaged in the this experiment. Now, uh, let's just for a moment change those tires. This is going to be, we're, we're trying everything out, every possible combination that I can think of, because you want to know, I'm sure. So mud, we'll change it to mud. And uh, we'll see if the mud tires, and I suspect, even though they look narrow, yes, see that? They're, they're destroying crop. So the, uh, the only the tires that, that say care on them are the ones that will not destroy crop. Now let's, uh, not there, there, let's put that back to uh no not trailerberg uh nokian bkt care right okay so now that is pretty much uh, all all the options by itself now we're going to hook it up to a trailer and right now we're in uh locking a disabled and as you can see it's uh it's freely moving around and uh, the problem with locking disabled uh, dollies is reversing. It makes reversing just a bit tricky. Although, surprisingly, I'm having a I'm having an all right time of it at the moment. However, if you link a couple of them together, that's when you're going to have a problem. Now, this trailer has a hitch. And when it really becomes apparent is when you have it uh, be typically uh, what I use dollies for is a trailer, dolly, another trailer, and uh, working them in tandem like that. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to unhook the trailer, unhook the dolly. Now, everything I'm using here is by Mandrid. That the truck is by Mandrid. The trailer is by Mandrid. And um, you would think they would all work together, and that's what we're going to try. Uh, come on, camera angles. Come on, let's back it up. Back it up. And uh, voila. There you go. So, whether does this trailer hook up or does this dolly hook up to every kind of trailer? I'm not sure. I picked this one just because this has a, tra a trailer hitch on the back, and it's typically some and it's by the same uh, modder. So uh, that is the reasoning uh, for using this. Now let's just un back up and unhook that again, and we are going to uh, try the other different the uh, other locking configurations. And we're gonna hook up here. Uh, sorry about this, takes a little bit of time by um, trying out all these different things and hopefully, um, hopefully this is useful information for you because uh, if it's anything to make things uh, a little bit easier so now we'll go let's just go with a uh, hard locking just to go to the other end of the spectrum to see if we can get a uh a um a big result shall uh, shall we say a large or a uh a, a contrast i'm looking for a big contrast between uh, the um 
the zero locking or the uh, locking disabled and the hard locking, which is supposed to be like the maximum, <laughs> the maximum of locking. If I can back it up, holy smoke. All right, there we go. Yes. All right, so we are on hard locking and as it's, okay. Um, oh, okay. Hold on. Let's get our help window on because there we go. Now we're talking. Uh, what are our options here? Silence, close cover, stop engine, rear steering. Let's unlock that for a second. Silence. I have this on hard locking and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Hold on. All right, so I guess I should read the description myself before, before doing these videos. But uh, I guess it just illustrates the uh, sometimes how things can be right in front of your eyes and not noticing it. Now, how do you lock the how do you lock the fifth wheel? That's an excellent question of which <laughs> so you must have the trailer, not the dolly, but the trailer or whatever you're pulling highlighted and l one now it says which doesn't necessarily kind of pop out at you, but notice it says lower tipper, and if you press that. you have a normal dolly. Now, if you press L1 and you say lift tipper, watch what happens. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. Watch what happens in this position. L1 and O, boink. <laughs> now it is hard. It is basically solidly attached in this position. It will not turn. Notice now so what that means is it is locked hard locked in position right there it's not going to it's not going to turn our move so driving forward will be difficult but for reversing it is locked solidly and there you go that is the advantage with the locking uh fifth wheel is backing up right got it Okay, so now, now we can, uh, so again, L1 and O with the trailer uh, activate or the trailer uh, mm, highlighted. Notice it goes up and down, down, now it moves. Now, okay, so now that we have a contrast of full movement and fully locked, let's try uh, going into uh, gentle or partial. Let's let's go back down to gentle. Right. So. So now we are uh, in free mode and go to L1 and lift tipper, and it is now gentle lock. So it's it has some movement. So a little bit of movement, and that's on gentle locking. So as you can see, not really still not a lot of movement. And partial is going to be even stiffer than that. So we see a little bit of movement. And that's on gentle. So that's the first level of movement. Right. So there you have it. Now let's do just one more thing. Let's just buy one more trailer. I apologize for the length of this video. However, I want to try every uh, every different kind of scenario that you might come across or have a question for. So instead of that, we're going to go and try, try uh, the um, TLX tipper that has a attacher on the back because some of you 
might be using that one as well. And we are going to uh, run into this a <laughs> decoration. Because uh, backing up two trailers has always been, uh, well, difficult to say the least because of uh, the dolly movement, right? Now, the other, my other uh, reason for trying this is to see if this um, hitch is going to hook up. And it would help if I knew how to back up. There we go. And there you go, it will hook up, as you can see. And as we turn and move around, that gentle locking is pretty much uh, locked pretty solid. So let's, let's unlock it right here, so that moving forward, you can see, it now uh, works as uh, a typical dolly would. And if we lock it, now you can see it has locked in place now let's <laughs> let's see if i can uh if i can get backed up here um if i can try to back up here um as you can see it's it's pretty oh it's it's not going to go all squirrely so uh that's as far back as i can uh, actually if i go like that we can get further back there we go so backing up is going to be much easier with that locked. As you can see, I'm backing up, backing up. It's not going too badly, squirrely. Uh, now let's just unlock that and see how, uh, how bad it can go or how fast it can go badly. And not too bad, but here we, oh, we're already starting to go, oh, then just a little bit and we're already done, right? So... Lock it up, lock it again, backing up. Even if we go a little bit sideways, we can still recover and get back, back to moving back straight. It's not going to jackknife on you with that locking uh, mechanism, even if it's gentle locking. Very nice. And let's just go back. I tried it with the tractor too. It works with the tractor and everything. Uh, and it also mentioned, there was one mention, I don't have a trailer hitch on there. Uh, well, there is one mention that uh, for the a long extended um, hit trailer hitch is, uh, will, I do believe it has a... Uh, soft reference to the sugarcane harvester in case you're wondering so lights lights uh no beacons signals and there it is uh so it's not you're not if you just have the dolly attached you're not going to get that locking unlocking you have to have actually a trailer attached to it and it's the lift and lower that uh, that you have so no other things no hitches no thing it's strictly a dolly for the semi truck trailers uh, attachments and there you go that uh, that is a wonderful new uh, mod by uh, Mandrid that's the lizard boogeyman dolly for all platforms from Mandrid 4.39 megabytes download four slots on console I'm Lily Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now